acquired immune deficiency syndrome, or what we know today as AIDS, was previously called IDS, or immune deficiency syndrome. And its known symptoms include cysts, tumors, bumps, flu, weakness, and eventually death. Today, AIDS and the common cold are both classified as a loss of immunity. Ironically, now anything and everything can be labeled as a disease, but it's easier to market if there's sex attached to it. Taking the medication AZT is playing Russian roulette with lethal poison, but the medical industry will always say that you died of AIDS and not from the medication that they prescribe. If a healthy person takes AZT, they'll die within three years. And this is not according to me. This is according to the GSK, which are the people that manufacture the drugs. It's been clinically proven that a retrovirus causes AIDS. And if you're wondering what a retrovirus is, a retrovirus is a virus that uses RNA. What else uses RNA? Something that I cannot say on this video without getting flagged. But what I can tell you is 90% of the world has taken it in the past year in hopes to protect them from a lie created by man. It has not been proven that sex alone causes AIDS, and it's more of a political, social, and military-induced disease. So the fear of AIDS causes many people to believe that drugs are the solution. I mean, that's the whole point, because the big boys are making the money. Fear is a marketing tool for the drug companies, research institutions, and religions. AIDS is a group of symptoms that the medical groups and insurance companies put together and called it a disease. They can add or subtract signs and symptoms from these syndromes as they will. A physiological and emotional based collection of signs and symptoms that when tested, you should collect about 29 positive records of AIDS out of 100,000. So for every 100,000 people that get tested, 29 people will automatically test positive. Now the AIDS test measures the ability of the body to protect itself by testing for antibodies Therefore, if the test shows that you have antibodies, then they claim that you have AIDS. This is fucking crazy. There's over 29 diseases that can fall under the same signs and symptoms that cause a positive on an AIDS test. Some of them include hepatitis, malnutrition, tuberculosis drugs. These are just a few of them. This can cause an 83% false positive, and all the positives are looked at as AIDS, brushing off all the 29 different possibilities. The major cause of AIDS positive results in Africa is malaria and tuberculosis. And because these are already diseases and it's the same signs and symptoms, so they just call it AIDS. This reason is believed to be the cause of doubling the amount of AIDS victims each year. AIDS and AIDS related conditions are systemic. Systemic means a weakness or a disease of the entire body. So we're talking about tissue, bones, organs, muscles, the entire system. So therefore, an AIDS retrovirus is not a single cause of disease. A retrovirus is a sign of one's overall health collapsing. So men and women with AIDS have a body disease. They do not realize this because AIDS can prolong for up to 14 years before showing any kind of symptoms. Now, here's the interesting part. AIDS victims can transfer this disease sexually if the other person's immune system is weak. The defenses of the body starts from a natural food diet established in the digestive system. The immunity is only as healthy as the colon. So once the AIDS retrovirus growth goes into the human chromosome, it becomes a living part of the body. So to kill the virus, you have to kill the AIDS victim's immune system. So what the hell do we do? A processed food diet is considered a disease diet. Fried foods, white sugars, hormone suppressors, recreational drugs along with alcohol and of course antibiotics. That means continued use of systemic antibiotics destroys the immune system and alters the friendly flora that lives in your digestive tract. And this bacteria is necessary for digesting food and protecting your body. But however, once they are put in a state of imbalance, they become your worst enemy. I think he agrees. So to recap, don't worry too much about the big flashy names that they give these diseases. When they come up with a new disease, they come up with a patented drug. And when it's patented, that means they're the only ones that can sell it. Which means, cha-ching, more money for them. We also know with a great immune system comes no physical problems. And this is probably why the people that own the pharmaceuticals also have their foot in the door with the big mass production food companies. The food that lowers your immune system, the drugs that treat the symptoms, and we just keep cycling.
And that's all I got. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Share the damn video. And if you didn't, 